not from Juliet. Anybody else need one? So, uh, a rogue Christian. A rogue Christian is not a rebel. We do not rebel against churches, organizations, or people. And when he says we, I think it's all inclusive. It's not a group. While we exercise discernment, we do not sit in judgment of others, which may cause us to stumble in pride, resentment, or arrogance. There is enough of that to go around already. Rogue Christians want all of the truth. We're tired of churches that avoid the hard topics and are not equipping their people to be overcomers. Tell, tell us all of the truth, and please don't treat us like five-year-olds and feed us theological ice cream every weekend. The world is collapsing around us morally, and we want to be equipped on how to make an impact. Rogues want more than knowledge. We want a passionate love relationship from the heart with the Lord, not just Bible knowledge. We want to be filled with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, and all that comes with it. Rogues want to be equipped to be overcomers and warriors. Don't just tell us what sin is, show us how to overcome it. In essence, a rogue Christian is a biblical Christian who filters all of life through the Bible and then attempts to live it. For example, the example of church we're given in the book of Acts is that they were devoted to the apostles' teaching, fellowship, and prayer. The early church prayed constantly. Most of our churches of today feature a worship band and one senior pastor who does most of the teaching. That doesn't line up with the house of prayer we are called to be, or a fellowship that shuns isolation and is devoted to each other. Rose, biblical Christians, make their lives count for eternity. They know that living out the greatest commandment to love God with everything we have is more than a verse to be studied, but to be lived. Rogues are passionate seekers of God who spend extended time in His presence often, including going away for personal retreats with Him. We're not satisfied with Bible knowledge alone. We want the real thing, to encounter the living God and, and be so undone by His presence that our love of other things pales in comparison. I'm going to read again the top line in that paragraph, rogues make their lives count for eternity. I've been doing some, some reading the last few weeks on the early Christian church, the first 300 years, the early Nicene community of believers, and a catchphrase that I came up with to summarize the way they lived their lives is this, they did not live in this life, they lived in the next life. They lived in eternity while here on earth. That was their focus. And the other thing that, that really caught my eye in this is we want the real thing, to encounter the living God and be so undone by his presence that our love of other things pales in comparison. I think that's a, that's a stretch for all of us. That's where we need to be, where we need to go, and not just go, but where we need to end up being. And this is a text Julianne sent all of us. I'm going to read the last paragraph. Pray for our state and our country. Pray for godly leaders to rise up in Oregon. We know that God has not forgotten us here, and his will will be done. And I think that's really profound. Number one, that God has not forgotten us here, and that his will, regardless of outcome, his will will be done. He is always sovereign. He is always in control. And I've noticed in all the polls, when they have a list of all the things that are on voters' mind at the top is crime or inflation slash economy, things like that. At the bottom, if it's in there at all, is education. And for me, I think that is a primary concern because our educational system was stolen beginning 70 years ago, and the outcome is what we have now. And now they are perverting our children. They're not just not educating them. They are perverting them and, and disabling them from life, and they will be useless human beings in 20 years, in 30 years. And that's, we, we need to pray for that. We need to lift up our educational system and our children. 